it was really surreal. Like, I didn't believe it at first. I remember that morning, like, I just, like, I randomly got, like, in my mind. I was like, okay, I'll do a rosary this morning, like, when I was getting ready for school. And then right after school, I got the call. Like, I was driving home when I got the call that I got the scholarship. And I was just, like, so surprised. Like, it was... It was really crazy and a really great blessing. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Bold. My name is Isabel, and I was wondering, what does it take to be a hometown hero? So I sat down with Anjali Gonzalez, this year's Hometown Hero Scholarship recipient. We talked about the problem that she identified in her community and the project that she proposed in order to help solve this problem. We also talk about how her nursing major applies to her project. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and YouTube at Mac Studios UST to stay in the loop and get a behind the scenes sneak peek at everything that we're working on. Now, let's jump into this episode of Bold with Anjali. Anjali, welcome to Bold. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so excited <laughs> that you're here. Um, can you. you give us a little intro? Okay, my name is Anjali Gonzalez. I'm the Hometown Hero Scholarship winner, and I'm a nursing ma freshman nurse nursing major. Yes! Oh my gosh, and let's talk about how we met. Yes, um, you're my freshman symposium mentor. That's I me. love having you on my freshman symposium Thank class. You. <laughs> and whenever I heard that you were the Hometown Hero, I was like, oh my gosh, I need her to be on Bold. <laughs> um, so... Let's start from the beginning. Um, how did you like end up at USC? I always heard about USC because my mom actually graduated from here. And then my sister comes here and my cousin also comes here. So um, it was always like in the back of my mind, like to apply to USC or go to USC. And then my mom would like bring us to campus whenever we were younger. So, and then like our college shirts, like the college shirt days at like for spirit week, like I would always wear the St. Thomas one. So it was just always in the back of my mind. That's so mm. cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so fun. Um, and so when your mom would bring you to these events, were you like, oh my gosh, I want to go to UST. Like I could see myself here. I just, I really liked how small it was. And like, I think that's like an important factor. Like when it feels homey, it's like really peaceful walking around. I really like the campus. <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree. And talk about you being hometown hero. Yes. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, tell me about like what that scholarship is. Um, so the hometown hero scholarship, they asked us to come up with a solution for a problem that we see in our community. So I'm from the north side area of Houston. And a problem that I saw was that I would always see like uh, clothing drives, food drives, or even like medical clinics coming to areas to like give checkups to the people. Um, but I never saw anything helping like mothers who um, need like baby products, like such as diapers, formula. My idea was to have a drive for those mothers who need these products at a lower cost or like even for free. Whoa, that's so cool. Thank you. So you like proposed this idea and then got the scholarship. I did. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And how did it feel like to win the scholarship? It was really surreal. Like I didn't believe it at first. I remember that morning, like, I just, like, I randomly got, like, in my mind, I was like, okay, I'll do a rosary this morning, like, when I was getting ready for school, and then right after school, I got the call, like, I was driving home when I got the call that I got the scholarship, and I was just, like, so surprised, like, it was, it was really crazy and a really great blessing. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. So you weren't, like, no, I'm definitely gonna win, my idea no. is so good. <laughs> no. Really? I was not, and then... Even, like, with the interview, like, I was kind of scared. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I don't think I did that well. And then I got it. Being at USC, what has that experience been like? How's it been? It's been surprisingly, like, like an easy transition from, like, high school to college. I thought it would be, like, harder, like, even, like, meeting friends or meeting other people. Okay, so you, like, proposed this plan for the Hometown Hero Scholarship. Mm -hmm. And now what's next? I'm going to implement that into... Um, like the community so I have to look for locations to have it to have the drive um, also like distributors or like donators who would want to help us out getting like all these products and like assemble a team to help coordinate everything and make sure everything's going well all right so now we're gonna go to sea ship but Edgardo's gonna do the remote not me Anjali Gonzalez, why did you choose nursing? Um, I chose nursing because it's like a really rewarding field. Mm -hmm. And you're able to see like the patient from like their sickness to like when they're healed and are able to walk out of the hospital. 
That's amazing. Do you, what type of, like, do you have a specification you're trying to get into, or how's that? Um, I want to do NICU nursing, which is the um, neonatal intensive care unit. unit. Um, so, like, with the babies, like, I guess it's, like, the emergency room for mm -hmm. the babies. Um, so, yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> so, so, going with that, I know you said that you're big in faith. So, mm -hmm. do you have, like, after school, do you have a goal you want to obtain or with your faith and service? Um, I want to volunteer um, after I get my degree for a year at St. Joseph's Clinic. Um, they provide like free health care, I guess, for um, low income families. Awesome. Amazing. <laughs> do that. So have you always been involved at that church? Like, is that hearing about St. Joseph's and the whole project at your mm -hmm. church, does that motivate you to go into nursing? Or like, when did you figure out that you wanted to do nursing? Um, I think nursing's always been like in the back of my mind. Like junior year, I think, was when I really solidified my decision. Um, I was like kind of back and forth because I know nursing is hard, but um, I think it, it would pay off in the end. And then after that is when I decided to do the St. Joseph's. That's amazing. So, so far, I mean, now you're choosing nursing as your major. How are classes going so far? Are you enjoying them? They're are you excited? They're going good so far. Um, I have anatomy and physiology one right now. So, um, I mean, it's a lot of content, but it's, it's manageable. <laughs> Yeah. So going into that, are there, are, there any, are there any courses you want to get, like you're excited to take, anything, like any goals, any class that you're really interested in? I would say just like finishing anatomy and physiology. Yeah. I think it's really cool, like learning about all the systems mm -hmm. in your body. I know it's hard, but I think it's, it's cool like when you actually start to think about it, like how everything works together. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad that you're here. I know here that you're doing nursing and you're striving for it. Thank you so yeah. much for <laughs> giving us a little brief. And we're going to head back to the studio with Isabel. All right, we're back. Thank you so much, Edgardo. All right, um, how did you come up with an idea for Hometown Hero? Like, what does that process look like? Oh, well, I went through a lot of ideas, like with the, um, like coming up with a solution or like the problem, but it was always like a drive. Like I wanted to have a drive for something. And that's when I came up with like the baby products because after like I started thinking like, oh, what about like mothers who need help with that? I asked like my aunt and even like my um, advisor from high school like what their experience was since they have younger kids um, getting and attaining these products. And my aunt had said that, well, she had had her kids like during the COVID time. So um, e like it was even harder because there was not as many available for her to get. And then my advisor um, let me know that she would sometimes try to like buy formula from like the Facebook marketplace and she would get scammed. Like, <laughs> I know they would... Um, like she would pay and then they just like wouldn't get back to her or even send her the products. And a lot of other people that she knew was like experiencing the same thing. So um, that's when I was like, okay, like I wanna do like the baby products for these um, struggling families and mothers. Just like really, really sparse, like even like because of COVID, like it, like, it was hard to get these products. <laughs> and why did you choose like helping pregnant women? Um, I want to go into NICU nursing. I want to be like a NICU nurse. So I thought it went like hand in hand, helping like the babies and like helping the mothers. So it was just, I think it was tied with like my career choice. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. I see like things that are wrong all the time, right? But it's like, it's really hard to like do something about that. But like, what was it that it's like, oh, like, no, this is something that I, it's a problem that I identify in my community and I like want to do something about. Well, I think I've always just been, like, service-oriented. Like, growing up, my um, family would volunteer at Star of Hope. Like, we would give cookies to, like, the, the residents in the area, like, cookies and milk. It was, like, once every Friday. And then even um, I would do retreats for high school, like, young adolescents. I was a coordinator for one of them. So it was just, like, always, like, service. And we would do, like, our youth group, um, we made baskets for the elderly, with like products for them. Um, we did that twice. So it was just always like service, service. So I think it's just really like rewarding and it's good to give back to the community. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then similarly, why do you think it's important to give back to our community? Mm -hmm. um, I would say like with my faith, um, it was just like always like taught, like, cause you know, Jesus, um, you know, he was very service oriented. He gave back, he helped people in need. And it's just always like you have to follow, like follow in his footsteps, you know, to be like the best version of yourself. So I, and that's like a value I hold. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot because like it's so easy to like say you're going to do things, but that you're mm -hmm. actually doing it. Like that's so good. Thank you. <laughs> 
you like have a really clear idea of like what you want to do like about your faith um I really like that but (laughs) has there like have you always been this way or has there been like a change of like you um you know figuring out what you want to do my family were like a really close-knit family so um like my sister me my and my two other cousins we would like do like the same things growing up like same elementary school same middle school same high school um like even like down to like the same activities like my sister did dance so then we like all did dance so it was just like it was always like that but in high school I started like realizing okay like this is a lot like I felt pressured to like follow everything that she did and I, I felt like I couldn't be my own like self and like it was just a lot so I started branching out a little bit by like, like instead of like dance, I did cheer. But even then, like it just, it wasn't what I wanted to do or like what I thought was like for me. So um, it was like really hard, like, like the first few years of high school, I wasn't like happy in like that school. So I ended up making a decision to transfer. And when I transferred, I started realizing like, okay, like this school is letting me be like my own self instead of being like, oh, her sister, her cousin, you know? So it's just, it's it's really nice being able to like branch out and like actually like be, have my own identity instead of like hers or like my cousins. Now that break from high school just like helped you a lot, like realize like your own identity. But now that we're at UST, And your sister and cousin are there. How does, like, being in the same space, like, what is that like? Um, Well, I think, like, even, like, if high school, I was already, like, able to have my own identity. Um, So by doing that already, like, I already broke off. So now being back in the same space, it's not, like, it's not, like, as much pressure as it was, like, in high school. Because, like, I already did my own thing. And then we even have, like, different majors. So it's not, like we're studying the same thing so So, like you broke out of that cycle and now Mm -hmm. you're like you're not going back that cycle you can like keep doing what you were doing before right yes that's so good I'm so glad (laughs) do you have any advice for people who like they see this problem that they want to fix but they don't know how to they don't know where to start Mm -hmm. I would say like even if you don't know where to start start talking to other people about it because someone else might have like the same concern and from there y'all can start brainstorming for like a possible solution and hopefully something can happen (laughs) yeah absolutely and what are the next steps for your project like that's so exciting like we're gonna you're actually gonna do it I am um, I, I want to assemble the team first, so if anybody is interested in joining, feel free to reach out. If you see me around campus, talk to me about it, and um, we can come up with ideas like on where to have it, how to get all the products. And yeah. <laughs> That's so exciting. I'm so excited Thank to like you. see this like come to life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, thanks so much for being on Bold. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay bold, my friends.